<laughs> you are not allowed to be on that. He gonna get in trouble. Look at him. I used to work at Home Depot at Millwork Specials. Doors and windows. They already have no fast. My insurance card still kick in in this boy. Okay. Really what you need to realize is this long enough? Can, let me see. Let me see. What, what do you mean? You're seeing it. No, I'm not seeing it. From right here to right to the end. I don't feel like that's long enough. So I you, feel like we need one more in the middle, don't you? No. I don't want it to be so small. Oh, okay, can we at least try it? Cause I, I wanted you to put it on the ground before you put it up here. Please. Yeah, let's try it. Put it down. Not one of that. What is that? Okay. And what's, no, I wanted yeah. one of these, that, those. B? Yeah. Wait a minute, babe. What's the difference with the ones that's right at the top? The ones up there, they the same? That's the same. Oh, that's W32. Yeah. Okay. So I had the Home Depot guy go ahead and cut my board because I wanted to make sure everything was even and I didn't go home having to do this project all over, which at the end you guys are going to see that I had to come back get another board because he did cut it unevenly. Don't know how that happened, but it was. Okay guys, so we went ahead and drilled these uh, two and a half inch wood nails inside of the wood cabinets. As you guys can see right here, it did split it a little bit, but that's okay. Later I went in and fixed it with my Gorilla Glue. I did tell my husband we should have got the one and one half inch screws, but yeah, he didn't listen. <laughs> so anyway, it's still secure and that's all that matters. Anyway, let's continue. So I wanted to show you guys what I did here. My husband um, took off the doors so we can go ahead and get them painted. I labeled them one and one, two and two, so I can know which side they belong on so I can actually place them back in the correct place because my husband will not be at home to help. my 400 um, no slip grip this is the 400 finishes so I said I already have it on here I was using it right quick so anyway I'm gonna just hand sand this so we can go ahead and paint it
plaque cloth so I can go ahead and start um, wiping them down from the sanding. And then we're gonna go ahead and paint them. I just finished up the um, the doors to this buffet. So now I'm up here just painting half of this. I already sanded this down. I sanded this down actually last night. Um, I see some imperfections, but hey, it's a DIY project. It's one of our first DIY projects of putting together. So we're gonna have some imperfections. And also, I don't think we found this right. I, I'm telling you that now. I don't think we found this right, but we did our best. So, it's coming along. Thinking about me, hey, cause I've been thinking about you. So, I went ahead and um, painted half of the dresser. Sorry guys, my house is very loud right now. The kids are home from school, so it's loud. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you guys the brushes that I use. Right now I am using my three inch angle brush. Um, I forgot who it's by, but anyway, it's too big. I should have used a smaller one for this one. And I'm also using this two inch brush. And I don't like this one, so I'm not really using that one that much. And I also picked up these brushes, I believe. I picked up some from Lowe's. I will show you, I think my husband, did he throw away, you know, he threw away the package. Anyway, um, they're like an acrylic paint brushes and I'm getting in the corners of um, this little buffet I done put together. But anyway, it's coming along pretty good, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't too much of a fan of the paint because I thought it would be darker than this, but it wasn't. And then I could not find true black and a stain, so we decided to paint. <sighs> I know he's just mad, but it feels like I know you. We love the same things. You want a house in Malibu? Are you feeling the same way I do? Are you feeling the same way I do? to get um what is this to get me another board and i spent extra on this one so it was about 50 some dollars i know the wood is so expensive that i'm like should i have just bought the piece but no it still was cheaper so <laughs> so right now what i'm doing is i'm just um i was using where my little tool go i was using this little tool right here if you guys can see that it's a, like a wood shaver, and I was shaving some of the wood in the back of the board. So um, right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sand it and call it a day. I just want it to be a little bit up on the wall, so that's why I'm sanding some of this down. And then I'm gonna sand the top, and then we can begin to paint. Yes, I'm doing this all in the house. I'm using 
Um, this, I bought this from Myers. So people in the Midwest, you know where Myers is at because I haven't seen this one at Home Depot. This is the Performal Max. I got it. I got this like a year ago, I think it was. So, I mean, if I can find it, I'll link it down below for whoever is in the Midwest or maybe Home Depot will have it. I don't know. So, I'm just gonna finish up here. I don't know. Sanding, I'm just gonna sand the sides right now so I can get it. Um, because this created, I don't know what you would say, I don't know what to call it because, like I said, this is my first time doing this. So it created some dents in the back. I don't like this one, I needed a bigger one. I think the bigger one would actually did the job. So if you're going to get this, or if you happen to need it to shave something down in your home as far as wood. Please go get a bigger one. Two night buy this little bitty one from Amazon because that's what I did because Home Depot was out of stock. And I really wanted to try the electrical one. My mom was like, well, my dad had one of those. You got a wood shaver? This was all her idea. You got a wood shaver? I'm like, I don't have a wood shaver, you know? <laughs> so anyway, enough of my talking. And before I start, should I have my glasses? I don't care if you're sanding, make sure you wear your protective glasses, okay? So I got some of my husband's, which I can't hardly see in. <laughs> guys so I'm going to go ahead and use this um, wood plaster I got from Home Depot to fill in some of the spots that were a little thin or just didn't have wood um, there at all and then I'm gonna wait for that to dry and I'll go back over and sand it I'm also gonna head to the other side of this buffet and sand that down because I've seen some imperfections so I just want to try to get it to look as nice as possible and uniform, I guess. So you'll see that here in a second. Now that that plaster is dry, I'm just going to sand it down with my 400 grit sandpaper and I'm going to get it as smooth as possible so we can begin to paint. Guys, I just wanted to make this very clear. If you can possibly do this in your garage, go right ahead. But if you have the tools like I do, the humidifiers, dehumidifiers, and all that good stuff, you can go ahead and use this in your house. I also have the windows open. Um, just this one project right here with me hand sanding, it did create a lot of, of course, dust. And I had to pull out the big guns. So we're going to begin painting. And this is so satisfying. Just for me to watch it, it was satisfying, you guys. Here we go.
All right, guys, this is six hours later. My buffet is dry enough for me to go ahead and put my um, doors back on. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then while these doors are on, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the inside. Since there was a lot of paint stains on the inside, I decided just to paint it. Uh, I really wanted to keep the, the wood look, but it just didn't happen that way. I sprayed my polyurethane on it yesterday. Well, not yesterday, the day before. And now I'm just gonna paint the insides because now those doors are done. And I'm like, I had to pause. Let me show you guys. So I had to pause from doing these doors on this side because I was tired. <laughs> and I just did that one. So we're gonna finish up painting these today so I can also put the hardware on them and then just slide up against the wall and get it out of my way because my dining room is a mess right now because my husband didn't want to put this in a garage like I told him, so now I'm working in my dining room. Is that paint? Oh, I thought that was paint on the floor. So let's finish this, come on. Okay, so just to give you a little um, rundown on it right quick. Um, I wanted to add legs to it, but I decided to hold off just to see how it was going to look. I actually like it and I did buy hardware. I don't know if I showed you guys the hardware. If I didn't, when I'm editing this, I know I didn't. But anyway, um, the hardware did not match. So I sent them back to Amazon. But, I don't know, I actually like it without the hardware. I'm gonna decorate it for you guys so you're gonna see that. But until um, the other handles that I wanted from Wayfair are back in stock, they kinda look similar to the RH handles. So I'm gonna buy those and put them on here. But um, yeah, I mean, it was fun. Just to show you guys the paint, my son says at night it looked like it's a dark blue, but it's actually blackboard by Magnolia, if I'm correct. I'll link everything down below. This is just how the cabinets are. We decided to go with a more um, smaller cabinet, a slicker look. I could just dust that off. That's just dust, you guys. I haven't put this shelf up in here because I was looking for the little um, the pegs to go inside of it. But all of these doors open. 
Um, the same for this one. I'm going to put the pegs inside of that one and put my dishes in here. And then I'll tell you where I got everything from and how much everything was. Okay, so I bought these from, um, what did I buy these ones from? At home. And the girl was like, do they, the cashier, she went like, well, do they have any more of these? Because I really like these. I'm like, girl, yes. They right there on the side and there was some in the back and they come in black. So go get you some before they're gone. Believe me, they will be gone. <laughs> so these were $44.99. And then I went and picked these up at Hobby Lobby. These are so cute to me. These were, uh, I believe, 50% off of the original price, which is $19.99. And then I went and got these, uh, these plants from, or flowers, whatever from Target, they were $7.99 each. You only get one stem with about four, yeah, about four heads on one for $7.99. So that's their fall collection. Um, also, this mirror, I bought this mirror two years ago, which you guys should know, it sits in there on my um, console table in the hallway. And I moved in here just to see how it would look because my boys was like, mom, we gotta have a mirror in there. Do not put a painting on top of that. So I went with the mirror and I just bought this from Amazon. So I did purchase five things, no six things, <laughs> but things that I was gonna purchase anyway. This, you guys already know, it was sitting in the corner of my home. I was gonna make a pedestal and put it on top of um, this to sit on it, but then I'm still making it but I need something different because I like this city here. All right, and yeah, so that's about it. Let me know what you guys think and what you think because I really like it. It looks nice and sleek the way it is. It's very minimalist. There's not a whole bunch of stuff up there, but I know I'm putting some pumpkins somewhere. Gabby is not gonna let this ride without having any pumpkins up there. But anyway, right. yes, please give this video a thumbs up if you loved it and go ahead and leave a comment in the description box let me know what you guys think love you bye, bye.